Hey guys, today we're gonna to be making breaded zucchini fries. First, you're gonna need 100% whole wheat bread. I use Logan Fresh. And then you need some extra virgin olive oil. I'll get mine from Kroger. And of course, you need some salt, some good old black pepper. And then you're gonna need some onion powder. And you can't forget the garlic powder. Next, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And now you're gonna take your olive oil and just a little bit, you're gonna pour just a tiny bit into your pan. Stop right there. Close that back up. And then you're just gonna spread that around with your hands a little bit just to coat the bottom of the pan. And now you're gonna take your bread Put one slice in, the second slice in, the third slice in, and the fourth slice, and the fifth slice. And just spread them out on your pan like that. And then just pop those suckers into the oven and close that up. And take them out when they look a little bit like this or lighter. Throw them into your food processor. I'm using the Magic Bullet. Let that grind up pretty well. And once they're done, they'll look something like that. Very simple. Just add some seasoning as you see necessary. I added salt and black pepper. And now for the zucchini. You're gonna take your zucchini and then you're gonna chop off um, both ends of the zucchini because you don't want that in your recipe. And now that you have your ends cut off, you're gonna take your zucchini and you are gonna chop it up lengthwise, okay? Because remember, we are making fries. So we want them to have a little bit of length. Now that you have two sides, you're gonna take one of those sides and also cut that one lengthwise. Oh, and what do you know, take the other side and chop that one up lengthwise. Go figure. <laughs> chop it up, chop it up. Oh yeah, just keep it chopping. And now that you have your zucchini chopped up, I chopped mine in half as well because they were a little bit too long, so they're about that thick. And cut them up as thick as you want and then put some breadcrumbs on top. But I actually will recommend you dip it in egg batter first and then put the breadcrumbs on so they'll stick better because mine ended up looking a little bit like that and that's not how they're supposed to look. But put them in the oven for about 15 minutes or so and when you take them out, just top it with cheese and it tastes amazing. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.